report. Yeah, I just sent it to Laura's um, new ambassador is Brittany Ray and Josephine. That's who I was just talking to. Everybody's going to love them. Where's all my notes? Guys, I, first of all, and like my phone is blowing up. You guys are crushing. It's only like the 11th of the month. I cannot even believe how many new people we have joining this business right now. Um, it's incredible. And what, what we're about to teach you is going to blow your business up even more. I think that Brittany yeah. and I both, while we were at the cabin, were like mind blown by a lot of things that were said, things that we've heard in different ways. But when you hear it in the way that we heard it there, it was really just completely different than we've heard it before. And we're really, really excited and pumped to share it with you because I think that it's going to completely turn your businesses upside down and change the way that you're doing things and allow you to grow your businesses way faster as well as more efficiently than what we've been doing in the past. Um, so like I said earlier, we're going to be talking about two things. We're going to be talking about screening your potential ambassadors, and we're going to be talking about tap rooting. And I know that I had heard talks on tap rooting before, but I had never heard anyone talk about tap rooting like Sarah Spencer, who's Jake's wife. And hearing it from her was like, me and Brittany were looking at each other like, whoa, this is like mind blown. Um, and so I'm really, when we call each other, we're like, what are we going to talk about? We both like at the same time, we're like tap rooting. That's what we're going to talk about. So I'm really excited to talk to you guys about that. Um, Brittany, do you want to get started? Do you want me to start talking about screening? How do you want to do that? No, I can, I can start if you want. That's fine. Go for it. Okay. I'm going to mute myself because so, I've got home girl back here. So, um, Brittany Hitch works really closely with people in corporate, of course. And so that's who we got to get this incredible training on screening from like, and who better to talk about finding the right leaders for your business than someone who works closely with Brittany Hitch, right? Like, I mean, let's be real. So anyways, we're going to talk about screening and what is screening? Screening is basically what sets us apart from other businesses in this industry, right? MLM mindset is enroll, 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 get the volume up as much as you can and basically see if people are going to sink or swim here. It's so much different. We have the tools to build leaders. So you want to be enrolling leaders. You don't want to just enroll a bunch of people because at the end of the day, they're bringing you a hundred in volume. That's great. But that you're not going to get paid on that hundred in volume, right? So if you are a pro rank, right? And you have six, I have blue pen all over my hands and you have 600 in volume. Okay. Like the next rank is 1500 in volume. If you bring on two people who aren't going to build a business, it's not going to help you get to executive, right? However, if you let people who don't want the business that want the products become customers and you have that, you have that 600 in volume on the customer side, and you're working towards executive and customer volume, and you bring on two customers with 100 CV orders, you're going to get paid on that 200 CV, right? So that 200 CV is going to get you more on the customer volume side of the comp plan, letting people be where they should be versus bringing them into the business and having them get you nowhere except for distressed, right? Because you're like, oh, they won't do anything. I have all these people who won't do anything. Like this is how you get people into momentum is by bringing leaders in who are going to build. It's going to give you like this sense of like excitement and passion and purpose. And it's going to trickle all the way down. So what screening looks like is you want to find someone who has a vision that matches your vision. Okay. So like I've got big goals here. I want to bring people into my business who also have big goals, who are passionate about what they found, right? We don't need everybody. There's not everybody is made to build a business. Um, and yeah, what, what are, <laughs> where is, um, Lex, can you go ahead and just mute the, like everybody's, um, <laughs> um, okay. So what is their need? Um, like what, 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 what is their need in this business? Like what is going to make, <laughs> you muted me too. <laughs> okay. So you want a good coachable ambassador. Um, a lot of us have come from other companies. You got to unlearn everything that you learned before and be coachable within our business and learning our systems and being comfortable 
listening to the mentors who have been here, right? Like I didn't know what I was doing when I first came here and neither did Alexi because we joined within like a week of each other. So we took all of our information from Brittany Hitch and it was like, oh man, girl, like look what you've done in this amount of time. What I did before didn't get me what you have. So you tell me what I'm going to do and I'm going to go and do it. And all that is, is following our system. So you want someone who's good and who's coachable, who's going to unlearn what they have learned previously, who's going to push outside of their comfort zone, who's going to push doubt out of their mind and not sit somewhere and say like, oh, I'm really worried that if I put you in a group chat, that people aren't going to think that I know what I'm talking about. That's not going to get you anywhere at the end of the day. It's very important that we are coachable, right? I still put people in group chats with Lexi. She puts people in group chats with me. We put people in group chats with our downline, our sideline. It doesn't matter. Okay. Connecting people into this business is going to let them see how we can connect, um, and how we work together as a team. Um, and it's really nice. It shows the community, right? Um, and then the questions that you want to be asking people, not in this exact way, in your own way, um, like, are you willing and able to own your own business, right? Like, are you going to have the time to put into this? I don't care. My business coach is like, it doesn't matter if someone has three hours a day. To have two feet in the boat, if you say you only have three hours a day, that means that you're going to consistently show up and you're going to work those three hours a day. It doesn't matter if you have a tummy ache. It doesn't matter if like your grandma's in town, like you are still going to show up and work your business because that's what this is. If you owned an ice cream shop on town square, you wouldn't close the ice cream shop for a day because grandma comes to town. Okay. Like this is your business. You've got to make sure that you're bringing people in who treat it like a business. Sorry. I love my grandma. So, <laughs> but you know, I got to work, right? I have goals. I have a team that needs me. It's important that we show up as leaders and that our downline knows that that's an expectation so that when they come into our business, they know that they need to be like, hold themselves accountable, right? We want to hold ourselves to a higher standard. Um, can you commit to having a monthly auto ship? This is so important. This is how you're commission qualified. This is how you're going to try products and have an authentic testimony to be able to share. We don't do fake like, oh yeah, girl, it's the best stuff ever. If you haven't even tried it. Um, hey, Alexi, can you go ahead and send the link to Karen? Thank you. Um, can you commit to having a monthly auto ship? It's 100 PV, right? If someone is following the systems, we want to help them get to a place within their business where they're able to cover those products. 100 PV auto ship, non-negotiable, okay? Should be between the first and the fifth of the month if they want to be commission qualified for weekly pay. The latest it can happen is on the 15th. And the reason being, because if we know by the 15th, we, like we'll know where our, our volume is. If I need to help Aletta hit a goal, I know, sorry, you're just like right above my picture right now. <laughs> if I know that you have a goal in place, I'm gonna look at your volume and I'm gonna say, okay, it's the 15th of the month. This is where we are. This is what we have to do for you to hit your goal, okay? It's an incredible way to be able to project your business. Um, and can you be launched within 24 to 48 hours? Launching is important. It helps us connect. It helps us understand someone's why. Um, it helps us to know what questions they have, and it helps us set the tone, the excited tone for their business. Um, can you do a Fab Five within 24 to 48 hours after launching your business? Fab Fives are important. Alexi and I didn't get a Fab Five. So some of you who are OGs, y'all didn't get a Fab Five, but guess what? We're starting to do fab fives because they work. And we were trained on this at the retreat on the importance of them. I don't like the, the term fab five. It's a little like, I don't know, not, not my jam, but we're going to do them. Okay. We've got 30 minute time slots for every single person who wants them. Okay. You take a 30 minute time slot, go out and invite 20 people. We will help you with wording and how to reach out to them. You get them on a call with us. We're going to present the opportunity and then we're going to get them into a chat and we're going to help you close them. We want you guys to win, but it's important that when you're bringing people in, that they know that this is the timeline and that these are our expectations because we want to help them win. We don't want to waste time. And when you join a business, you're excited, right? You're really pumped up. But as time goes on, you're going to be less and less like on fire about it unless we get things into momentum. And can you commit to being an executive? Our goal here is to get every single person to the executive rank because you're going to make enough to cover your products and then be able to put money aside. But that means that you have to be a leader. 
you have to be able to present, you have to be coachable, you have to be able to launch, you have to put in the time to lead a team. Like if you jump in and you don't have that leadership mentality, then you're going to always find excuses and then your business isn't going to grow. Um, so that's kind of like, you know, the spiel on screening. And if someone can't commit to those things, you guys let them be a customer, let them be a customer. You never know. They could fall absolutely in love with the products and want to upgrade to be an ambassador at a different time. But you have to just kind of let people be where they want to be and meet them where they're at. Um, and don't put that undo like unnecessary pressure on someone to start a business if they don't want to start a business because again that 100 pv order could get you paid on our customer side whereas if you're between ranks and you bring someone in who doesn't want to do anything all it's going to be is 100 pv that's not going to move you forward so sorry i kind of took over everything alexi on screening but <laughs> no it's all good i mean it's you literally were just reading the notes that i had um but just a couple things obviously when you are letting your customers be customers and only enrolling ambassadors who are ready not only are you helping them because when an ambassador isn't ready to be an ambassador they jump in and they just sit and they miss all of those bonuses right but if you sign someone up as a customer and then three weeks or three months into their ordering they're like these products are amazing like my friend sally really wants to try the vitalize i'm going to send her to you and then you say, no way, you're not going to send her to me. We're going to help you sign her up and you're going to make a paycheck off of that. And then guess what? Now you have a customer who wants to be an ambassador at the right time, instead of forcing them into being an ambassador when they're not ready. And if you're forcing people continuously into being an ambassador when they're not ready, you're not creating a sustainable business because they're not going to stay on auto ship. They're going to drop off. Your numbers are going to continue to decline or just stay like this because you're going to have to continue recruiting the same amount of people every, every month in order to stay consistent and you're never going to see growth. And that's really important. Um, another thing I wanted to say that really stood out that I circled and has stars around it is that confused people do nothing, right? If you enroll someone into this business as an ambassador and then you're like, okay, bye, have good luck. Like, I know maybe you should have been a customer and you don't really know what you're doing, but like, bye, here you go. They're not going to do anything. And then once again, you're not helping yourself build a sustainable business. And by bringing people on as ambassadors, when they're ready, they see that Q works, they have a testimony and they have confidence. And I can tell you from experience, me and Brittany, when we hit executive in our first month here, that made us feel so confident about what we were doing that we could share confidently. Like I've been here for five weeks and I've already hit three ranks in this business. I've already made more in this company than I ever made in my previous company. Those types of stories are the stories that sell. And that's, what's going to take us into what we're going to do for tap rooting because sorry, I'm letting people in because the reality is if your people don't have a testimony and they're not confident in the business and they're not confident that the business works and you're not able to show them that by literally holding their hand until they hit that first rank, then they're going to be gone and you're going to have lost a really good opportunity to help impact someone's life and to help change your business. Yep. I mean, when you, when you help people hit their first rank, or especially when we help people get to executive, like they finally have that belief in themselves, right? Like, oh, I'm not sure if network marketing is for me. I don't really know if it could work. And then they hit those ranks and they start making those paychecks and they're excited. They're going to believe in themselves and that's going to push people forward because we all love to feel like our hard work is paying off, right? And then they're going to realize that our systems work. So when we follow our systems, when we're screening people and making sure that we are going through these systems and they duplicate them, they're going to know that it works because they're going to see it happening for the people that they bring into the business too. And then they're going to have their own testimony. Guys, and I'm not the only one who did it. I have a whole team of people who are doing it with me and you can do it too. Um, and then the last thing that I wrote down from that training was it's not what it is, but it's who it is. Or It's not what is it, it's who is it, right? It's not what the product is. It's like, it's, it's who you are as their leader that you're screening these people, bringing them in and they're trusting you, right? They're joining you. They're not joining Q at the end of the day, right? So it's our job to like hold their hand and make sure that we are there and we are helping them. And we're not just like, see you later. Thanks. And we're doing what's best for them at the end of the day and not just what's exactly. going to make us a fast paycheck.
because mm-hmm. there's nothing less rewarding than having a team of 50 people who don't want to be here, who aren't hitting any ranks and you're at the top of the business, right? That doesn't feel good. We want to help our people. We want to make sure that they're hitting builder pro executive. We want to be able to stand on that stage and know that people are like, that person helped me. They saw me when I was at my lowest and they helped me be successful here no matter what it took. But, but obviously like you can't help people who don't want help. So we don't want you wasting your time on 3000 people every month or six people a month. I don't care if you're the best recruiter in the world. If you're enrolling six people a month who don't want to do anything, you're wasting all of your time and energy. It's way worth the wait to find one Brittany or one Shelby or one Laura or one Chastity or one Aletta or one Becky whatever. It's way worth the wait to find those people who see the opportunity and want to work as hard as it takes to get there than working with 10 people who you can't even get on a launch call. If they're not willing to do the launch call in 48 hours, say, that's great. I'm so happy you got on this call with me. I think you're going to love the products. Let's get you the products that are going to work best for you. And when you're ready to get on a launch call and you have that time, we can upgrade you to an ambassador account. I know you're going to love the products and I'm sure you're going to want to share them in a couple months. Let's get you started. Okay. Because at the end of the day, they still have the same perks on the customer volume side as they have here. As long as they have an auto ship on, they still get the mic you fit all the time. Um, they still have, I guess they don't get the free shipping, but they still get the perks of being a customer. They get the same exact discount as us. It's worth, it's really no different for them, but we're helping them out by not putting them into a situation where they're going to fail. All right. Let's start a bit of tap rooting because it is almost nine o'clock. I know I talked um, a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna start this by just exactly the same way Sarah said. If anyone here grows carrots, do you know how you water carrots? Does anybody here now know how they water carrots? No? All right. So they use a soaker, is that what it's called? A soaker hose, yeah. A soaker hose, because they don't just wanna sprinkle the top, because if you sprinkle the top of your carrots, you're just gonna have really short, fat, stubby carrots. But if you put a soaker on the ground, the water is going to seep into the bottom and it's going to get the roots and the carrots are going to grow deep looking for that water. Okay. And that's what tap rooting is in this business. We don't want to be working with the people at the top all the time and all the leaders in the business. We want to, yes, pull it back a little bit, pull it back, pull it back. And I like, <laughs> it's not, oh, hold on. Y'all, you're going to just see my messy room behind me for a second. She's showing you the difference between us. Yeah, so you see all these roots? They're looking for the water and so the water's soaking and these roots are growing out. And that's what we want our team to look like. Not like a short, fat, stubby carrot, but we want it growing. We want the roots searching for water, okay? But at the end of the day, as leaders, that's our job. And so that's what Brittany and I have really taken away because we don't wanna sprinkle the top where all the leaders are and just pour into the leaders and hope that it gets to the bottom. We want to be in the trenches with the bottom brand new, newest leaders, helping them grow. Okay. So it's great to work with the people at the top. That's fine. But where you really want to be is at the bottom so that we can continue to grow our team and continue to influence the very bottom. So our team is continuously growing new leaders. Okay. The speed of the leader is the speed of the team. All right. So should, do you think I should read all this or should I just go straight into the, how we are going to start tap rooting like the systems that we're going to use? I don't know. I mean, I only have like one short page of notes. Okay. So I'm just going to, that's fine. I will sit with you on the couch and finish this call. I think okay. So, I mean, I think one thing that I really liked that she said, and you know, no, you just go ahead. You go ahead. Okay. So what she talked about, and she actually called people up. So say that I recruited Brittany, which I did. She was one of my first people that I brought into this business with me. And so most of you, a lot of you are still looking for the, your first business partner, okay? So you're gonna find your first business partner and you're gonna say, all right, awesome, welcome to the team. And what I don't want you to do is say, good luck, see you later. What we want to do is sit down with them, stop please, sit down with them, literally, you guys, this is called like ultimate handholding. Get on a Zoom call with them and be like, all right, that list of 20 people that I asked you to make, we're gonna call them all right now. All right, tell me about Shelby. Who's Shelby? All right, Shelby's a mom of three under three. She has a she has a part time job, but she wants to stop working. She needs a little bit of more time freedom. Okay, this is what I want you to say to Shelby, and I want you to invite her to our call tomorrow at seven p.m. 
All right. And then it's going to be the next person. All right. This person's a real estate agent. You know what? Maybe it would be a great idea to get them some products in their hands and they could have the products at the showings. Let's call them and tell them which products would be great for them. Okay. All, through 20, 20 people. All right. And you're going to sit with them while they invite 20 people to the call that you're going to host with them the next day. And then the next day they're let's be realistic. Probably 10 people are going to say, yeah, I'll be there. And five people are going to show up. You're going to present the business and the products to those five people. And then at the end, you're going to say, Hey, what questions you have? It's going to be personal. Ask them, get involved, create a little bit of FOMO. And then you're going to help them recruit those people right there on the phone, because we're not just going to let, we're not just going to let people go off on their own and be like, okay, go invite your people to the call. Good luck. Yes, that is what we're doing, but we have better information now. And we're not doing that anymore. We are going to handhold. We're going to get them on the phone. We're going to be having one-on-one -on -one conversations with everyone right there that we can talk to. And then we're going to recruit them. And then guess what? Those two people that we recruit with them on that call, we're going to do the exact same thing with them. Not that person. So we recruited Shel So Brittany recruited Shelby. And I'm not going to say, okay, Brittany, good luck. You're going to do the exact same thing that I just did with you for Shelby. So make sure you're on the call and you're getting the 20 people and you're doing the opportunity call. Let me know how it goes. No, we are taprooting. We are working at the very bottom with the newest people. So we're going to say, all right, Brittany, let's plan this call. All right. The call is going to be for Wednesday afternoon. Let's get Shelby on a Zoom. Let's work through this list of 20. And then on the call with Shelby, I'm going to present the first half. And I'm going to have Brittany present the second half to teach her how to present the opportunity. So I might talk about the products and then Brittany's going to come on and she's going to talk about the business. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. What questions do you guys have? We're going to get Shelby two or one or however many ambassadors enrolled. And we're going to do the exact same thing for them. But this time, Brittany is now going to say, okay, Shelby, it's you and me. Let's get, let's talk to you. Let's talk to this person. And that's how, that's how it's going to work. We are always going to be working from the bottom. And me as leader, Brittany as leader, we are always going to be working with you until somebody steps up and says, you know what, actually, I'm ready to take on the responsibility of leader. I'm ready to start doing all this myself. I don't need you at the bottom of my leg. And at that point, you know, you have a leader who's ready to take over that leg. But until then, I want you involved in every single new person in your downline. Like it's your own person, right? Because the reality is our systems are meant to be duplicable. But unless we have leaders who are ready to duplicate the systems, it's our job as the leader to be the leader because Shelby might enroll the best leader in the entire world. But if I haven't met that person and Shelby doesn't teach them how to work Q sciences effectively, that person's going to fail and they're going to drop off. And I'm not even going to know that that person existed. Right. I'm not Shelby. I'm not saying you do that. I'm just using you as an example because I know you. <laughs> so idea. it's really... The Sorry, idea yeah. is really like one thing that I like wrote down and I like traced over it like 10 times and underlined it a bunch was the idea is to replace yourself. Like you want to find someone who is going to be a better leader than you. Like you want to find someone who is going to rise up and run with it and be able to just be an anchor in that area of your business where you know, like, oh, that's Shelby. She's got it. She's, she's good to go. I don't have to worry about her and, and her downline. Right. Right. Like, cause you know that those systems are being duplicated because you found a leader who like gets people into action and like rises up and, you know, really just stabilizes their business, other people's business and your business. And that's when, you know, you can kind of like take the reins off of there and like start working in other areas down in the soil of your, your tap rooting business. <laughs> and another thing she said is the reality of tap rooting is that it's a sprint and then it becomes a marathon And the sprint section is where we all are right now, because as we enroll people and we enroll people and they enroll people and they enroll people, we're going to have to be at the forefront of our business leading from the front until that leader steps in. And that is going to be a time of sprint. And I literally raised my hand and I was like, so how long does the season of sprinting last? <laughs> like, what does that actually look like? And Sarah was like, well, until you have a leader step up. Um, and that's the reality. I can tell you since we've gotten home, Brittany and I have been doing these calls nonstop. 
but I can tell you at the exact same time that the leg where I'm working very hard right now is double the volume that it was this time of the month last month. And that's because these systems work. They truly do. I'm working with my newest people. I'm helping them enroll people. And I've told both of my newest ambassadors, I'm not stopping this month until you hit ranks. It's not happening. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to keep doing these calls every day if I have to, as long as you're inviting people and doing your part, we are not going to stop till you get paid. Because I think that's the most important part is that if our people aren't getting paid, they're not going to stick around and it's not their responsibility. They don't know how to get paid. You cannot just say, all right, here's an op call, invite your people. Good luck. I've given you the systems, now follow them. It's the literal holding of the hand. You know, one of my newest ambassadors messaged me this week and she was like, I don't know if I can do this. I'm really stressed. I, I just don't know if this is for me. I already regret it. This was like three days in. And that's what happens three days in, they start up here really excited. And if they don't, if nothing happens in those first three days, that momentum immediately goes down and the fear goes up. That's another thing she said, momentum goes down, fear goes up. And if fear overcomes momentum, they quit. And so it's our job as leaders to be like, let's go, let's get you in momentum. Let's get you in motion. Let's get you that first paycheck. Let's show you what's possible here. But if you're not willing to put the time in and the work in, then don't even bother enrolling an ambassador. And I'm sorry to be the one to say that, but if you don't have the time to make them successful, then you don't have the time to be successful yourself. Like that's just a fact. And you know what else? When I enroll Brittany, this is again, just when I enroll Brittany and she does that second half of the presentation, she's gonna mess it up. We're all gonna have to watch our ambassadors mess up presentation. Shelby has been practicing her QIQ presentation for weeks. And the first time I saw it, it was not perfect. But I know that every time she presents, it's getting better. And she had to stumble and bumble in front of me in order to get better. But you have to be willing and your ambassadors have to be willing to fail in order to get better. Like Brittany and I, a year ago, we're like throwing stuff at the wall. Like, we don't know what we're doing. But like, hopefully something works. We failed so many times. And even now we're sitting here telling you that what we were doing maybe wasn't working the best way, but that's what this business is all about is learning the best ways and teaching your people how to be better and how to do it better with the knowledge that you have. Yep. The only way that you figure it out is if you fail. And if you're not presenting and you are even pro at this point, I feel like you need to start getting your presentation ready and start presenting for people because people don't want to hear from me they want to hear from you. And if you have people on your team, you're their mentor. You're the person that's teaching them. You're the person that they said yes to. And you're the person that they want to introduce to their friends because you're the person that they look up to. It's not me. It's not Brittany. It's not Brittany Hitch. It's you. And so at the end of the day, if you have a downline, then you should be presenting. Period. <laughs> and guess what? Now that Brittany and I know this stuff, we're going to be we're on it. Everything's going to look a little bit different starting like two days ago. Um, and for those of you who have had new ambassadors and I've been on the phone with, and Brittany's been on the phone with, you know, that it definitely is looking different than it did a week ago. And that's because we, I totally believe that this is the way to go and it's going to change the app. It's going to change the way that our business works. And I got carried away again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's all, it's all so true. We're so excited. There's, there's a lot of big things happening. I literally had to call, have a call, like spontaneous call with my business coach tonight because I was like, um, we're in serious momentum and I'm afraid I'm going to hit a brick wall. <laughs> so we had to like, she had to coach me through like, you know, time management and stuff like that. But guys, like this is a really big time of year. Um, there's a lot of momentum. Um, people are seeing we're out there more. Q Sciences is out there more. And other people in other network marketing companies are watching and they are seeing things and convention is around the corner and you guys, it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be amazing. The products that we are going to drop. Yes, the products. I'm so excited, but big things are coming and you guys are all here to be a part of this momentum and we want to help you be the best. We want to help you. We want to give you everything that we know, everything that we learn. We want everyone to just soak it in and trust us because we trust our mentors 
and we want everyone to be successful. So like we just, you know, we, we want you to hang in there with us. We want you to tell us when you need a push. We want us to have you communicate with us everything that you're feeling because we're all in this together. We're all learning this new system and it's going to be fire and y'all are going to grow really quickly. And it's just a matter of like communicating with us how you're feeling so that we can all just like, you know, meet each other where we're at and, and help. So that is that. I think you guys, thanks for hanging in with us a little longer. <laughs> One more thing. Yeah. You know, I always have one more thing. I know. Are you going to cry I now? Wanted, no, no, I'm not going to cry. Although ask Brittany, I cried so many times at the yeah. lodge. Because yeah, it, it was, was pretty cool to be able to sit on the floor across from the owner and CEO, like having him sit there. And I was just like crying in my sweatpants. And I'm like, this is just so nice. Like five feet away from his like, like nice, nice, like dress box, you know, I was, was like, going to say his fancy socks. <laughs> These are his fancy socks with too. joggers. Yeah. Okay. So what I wanted to say is conventions coming up. It's next month. I know that a lot of you are new, but Jake had the opportunity to talk to us. And the one thing he said, and the one thing that I can attest to, because I've been to two conventions now is the importance of being at convention. If you want to have a successful business, if you do not have your convention ticket, please get your convention ticket. If you want to hit ranks at convention, please get your team there. I can tell you, I know I said this in the chat, but if you weren't in the chat or you didn't see this, um, I joined in July of last year. And then I went to convention in September. I couldn't afford it. Brittany, Brittany Hitch paid for my ticket to convention because I couldn't afford it. But she said, oh, you have to be here. And I was like, I've only been here for like two seconds. What do you mean I have to be there? She's like, it's going to change your business. She pretty literally, guys, she bullied me into being there. It wasn't an option. She didn't make it an option. She paid for my ticket. I got my flights out. I stayed on I stayed in some random person's house that I did not know. She just got me a room in some random person's house. I didn't know anyone. I was by myself. It was borderline miserable. But let me tell you what, I hit elite that month at convention because I got my team to get tickets. They had virtual tickets. They showed up. The excitement is palpable. And even though they weren't there, I was able to relay that. And I was like, guys, you have to be there. So then the next time came around and we had about 10 of us at convention. That was six months later. There were about 10 of us there. Um, and that was crazy because I went from zero people to having 10 people there. And now this time, six months later, we're going to be at convention with about 30 people from our team. And I want everybody from our team there. And I truly believe, and I, and I also, I had hit bronze in November, hadn't maintained it from convention on. I maintained bronze. Okay. Convention changes everything. And anyone who's in this call right now, who is there can tell you that being face-to-face -face with your team, meeting everyone that you've been talking to for the last six months or two months or two weeks. I don't care. Um, I want all of your butts, all of your cheeks and seats in the words of Brittany Kabicki. Okay. It's critical. It is absolutely game-changing. The, the atmosphere, it's the first time that you're ever going to really understand what Q is and what Q really feels like. Like last, last February when I went, we were all sitting in the back with our kids and I turned around. Mark was sitting in the seat behind me. The owner of the company was sitting in the back row of convention in the seats behind me. Just chilling, just listening. And I went up to him and was like, little, little, little bumbling over my words. That's not the point. The point is, if you want to have a successful business, I want your cheeks and seats. I will, I will find you a place to say, Brittany has a house. I'm just going to throw it out there. You can sleep on the floor of Brittany's house. We'll get you an air mattress. I don't care. <laughs> Okay. We already have two air mattresses in there. Yeah. Like, so the point is Sydney will bring sleeping bags. <laughs> yeah. We have a hotel room. We have a suite. If you need somewhere to stay and can afford your, and can get the flights there, you can sleep on the floor of my hotel room. I don't care. I want you there. I will do what it takes to get you there. That's how important it is to me because I know it's going to grow my business. I know it's going to grow Brittany's business. I know it's going to grow Chastity's business. I know how much convention can change businesses. And Jake said the other night that if you don't show up to convention, the likelihood of you being in for the next year is low. And I believe that because I think that being able to feel that, experience that, taste the products, be around Jake and Mark and all these top leaders and have these conversations with people who are making an impact is what and networking in that way, like that's what changes everything. And it really does. I got to go to a VIP event as an executive, my first convention, two months into the business. I didn't know anybody, but I got to talk to Sarah Spencer, Brittany Hitch, Brooke Lloyd, 
Jake. I got to talk to all of them because I was given an opportunity and I'm sitting here telling you that being able to go to convention and meet these people and have this experience, it's an opportunity that you don't want to miss. It's, it's not just, I mean, it's going to fuel you and it's going to light you on fire, like, and just ignite your passion in a way you didn't know it could be lit. Um, but the other thing is, is Marielle was talking about this on a call today is it's the people who are watching and how you're able to market your business to the, to the world, right? Like there are so many different types of personality types who are watching your Instagram stories or who see what you post on Facebook. And you could be with like, all of us and like we could be like cheering and excited together in a picture and that's gonna like attract like the party people the hype people the people who get really excited about like connecting with others right but then you're also gonna have the analytical people and you can post stats that you're learning at convention so that the people who are numbers and goals driven who want to see those facts like you're gonna be able to share those things with them you're gonna be able to walk in and see yourself or your mentor on a huge poster on their name with where they are in their business at their rank. And like, it's just gonna, you're gonna have all of these different personality types who are watching what you're doing at convention. And I promise you, I mean, those of you who were sharing what Alexi and I were like around, like the proximity that we just had this past weekend, those of you who were sharing stories and pictures, the response that I know that a lot of y'all got was loud, right? Like there were people who were watching, you weren't there, but your friends were there. And like people, people saw that proximity and were, I mean, we're now I know that there's many people in conversations just because of that. So imagine actually being there and taking a picture with the president of the company yourself. Mm -hmm. Also one more thing, again, Brittany <laughs> can tell you and Lacey can tell you and anyone who didn't come to convention last time can tell you how annoying it is when everyone's at convention and they're like, wait, what's going on? What are the promos? What, what just got dropped? And no one's paying attention because we're paying attention to what's happening on the screen. They're like, I can't promote anything because I don't know what's going on. And like this, the, the live feed just cut out and I don't, I'm lost. And I'm like, sorry, I am. In Y'all, I would have been there, but I had to take my <laughs> yes. husband to the hospital because he had COVID. Otherwise I would have been there. Like Brittany, it was the night Brittany before. Brittany almost left her husband dying to come to COVID. I had True to story. talk her out of it. <laughs> to, I had to talk her out of it. Yeah. I was like, don't leave him. He will die. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my kids probably would is, have. The point is it's easy to sit there and be like, it's fine. I'll just go to the virtual, but it's going to set you, it's going to set you behind. It's not the same. And the odds are you're actually not going to even watch the trainings and the trainings are so life-changing that it's just crazy to not be there. And that's all. Let's end it before I get carried away even if more. If you're cool with you. a sleeping bag, message me and you can sleep on the floor. Yeah, same. We have a suite and listen, it's me, my sister, and Kay. And we're a little, we a little crazy. So if you can deal with lots of laughing, you can, you get your welcome. Shelby's like, gosh, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, right. seriously, well, we have room. Go. Get there. We love you. Um, and farts. Farts. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. if you're ever oh. wondering Kay calls me butt cheeks okay love you guys <laughs> bye <laughs>